Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honour to stand here as a Nuffield Scholar to present to you efficiency gains through improved beef genetics. But if I may, I'd like to say a few thank yous. I must thank the Nuffield Farming Scholarships Trust for the opportunity it has given a farmer's son from a grassland farm in southwest Scotland to go out into the world and try and find the answers to improve an industry that I care a lot about and feel has got a great future. I must also thank my generous sponsors, Alan and Anne Beckett. They've been a source of advice and have made me feel like part of their Nuffield family. I'd like to thank my wife Claire and my daughter Molly for giving me love and support during my travels and giving me the drive to complete my scholarship. My parents, John and Rachel, who have looked after the farm at home and given me the freedom to enjoy my travels. Fraser Mitchell, a young man that's worked in the business for a number of years and has risen to the challenge and has shown that if you give someone the opportunity and the drive in their self, they can show their fullest potential. So, where did I travel? I wanted to meet farmers and researchers that wanted to drive the beef industry forward. Men and women that understood the business had to be profitable for us to reinvest to improve our businesses year upon year. I set off to Canada, USA, Ireland, Paraguay, Brazil and around the UK to meet the farmers that wanted to be better at what they did. They wanted to be in the top 1% and were well, not happy to be second. They had to be top of the tree and they wanted us all to know it. What is efficiency? Efficiency is a measure of input to output. Energy in to energy out. Maximising your land resources. If you can own, rent or access land and maximise its full potential, you can drive your business forward. You can use the feed you can grow, you can buy to its fullest potential putting it through an animal that suits the environment that you farm within. For me, I farm a grassland farm. I'm looking for a foraging animal, an animal that can work with something else that the poultry and pork sector can't, converting grass to protein. We look at the industry just now and we compare ourselves on feed conversion rates. We talk about kilos of dry matter of feed to kilos of live weight gain. We look at the beef sector, eight kilos of feed to one kilo of live weight gain. Pork, three and a half to one. Poultry, two to one. Fish, 1.6 to one. These are big figures. We, as the beef industry, have allowed the gap to grow between the other sectors and ourselves. In the last 30 years, there's been no measurable gain in feed conversion efficiency within beef. In 30 years, the poultry guys have moved on 250%. We must close this gap. It's all in the numbers. Other sectors have shown us that embracing breeding values is the route to success. Understanding that if you measure and evaluate animals on an individual basis, select from the top 1% and multiply those genetics. There is your root. They've shown us the way forward and we must embrace it. We must take this chance to push beef forward. We can use maternal traits, calving ease, fertility, longevity. We can use terminal traits of 400 and 600 day growth. We can use fat cover because at the end of the day, we have to finish an animal for what the market demands. The market demands a certain carcass size. They tell us we have a vast array of carcasses they want. They probably want 360 kilos dead weight. They want an animal that hits an R4 rail. They want consistency. We must breed for optimums, not maximums. Provide what they want 
and take the price that they give us. Because if we know it, and we know a cost of production, we can work on our margin. We have to be smarter. We have to take it all down to monetary values. We're businessmen. Let's run our farms as businesses. I had the opportunity to travel in America, and I met with Dave Bittner. Dave Farms is part of Profit Maker Bulls in Nebraska. A consortium of four farmers that use their herds to test bulls. They aim to market 550 breeding males in a year by using their combined herds as testing platforms. They want to find the best, so they work together. They collaborate. Could we collaborate more? Dave has a background in finance, and he understands bioeconomic indexes. He puts monetary values onto everything that he does. Everything has got a cost, so everything must pay its return. He balances all of the traits he selects, ranks all the animals across the four herds, and the top animal gets the highest value, and obviously the lowest gets the least. He breeds from the top, so his customers know he's selecting for their future, not just his own. Dave puts dollar values, because it suits the market that he's in. Dave understands that farmers want to buy a bull to breed replacement females. So he ranks his herd on production of breeding females. He ranks his herd for the terminal man on the ability to grow fast and finish quickly. They want to hit the feedlot running and spend as few days on feed as possible and give the man money in his bank. Money to reinvest in genetics that Dave hopes to breed. Dave spoke to me about <coughs> feed efficient cattle. Animals that had the ability to convert feed better than contemporaries in the group they were run with. Superior genetics. We understand efficiency. We look at the motor sector and we understand the bigger the beast, the more fuel it requires. If we went into a pen of 20 or 100 animals, could we select the superior genetics within that pen? Or do we need some help? The technology is there. Grow Safe in Canada have established a feed intake bunker. This bunker allows animals to be managed as part of a group, up to 50 animals to four bunks, run under test conditions in a feedlot environment where the superior genetics rise to the top. Here we see the two steer challenge. Two animals drawn out of a pen of 50. The top and the bottom performers. 77 days on test. The same entry weight when they went into the feed test. A similar weight gain. What have we learned? What's the results? We know it takes 2.5% of your body weight for dry matter intake per day for an animal. So we can put a calculation on what they should have eaten for their gain. Results. The more efficient animal ate 244 kilograms less feed in 77 days. 244 kilos. Imagine that over 100 animals. Imagine it over a million. This again must go into our multi-trait indexes. We must look for balance in our breeding programs. We must look to optimize and tick all the boxes. We want all the animals we breed to perform for what with challenges we've put ahead of them. I met with Dr. John Crowley in the University of Alberta, part of the livestock Gentech team. They are genotyping the beef animal. Dr. Crowley described it as life's potential in a blueprint. If you can optimize life's potential, the genomics will show you the future. Currently, we use progeny testing. We need eight birth weights to give a breeding value to any one animal. Genomics can give us it two and a half years ahead of schedule. 21 days after birth. A powerful tool. A shortener of the process. Has to make sense. 
again, part of a multi-tree index, looking for balance, we can select for maternal traits and terminal traits, two different beasts. Yet, we have access to both through sex, semen, embryo transfers, a market full of improved genetics. The chances are there, we just have to be willing to change, willing to evolve. My Nuffield journey. I have met farmers that had financial reasons for everything that they did. The reason that they changed was because their business was not successful. They had no choice but to invest in genetics and did not regret it. They understood that their customers wanted a future as strong as their own. They had drive. They had passion. I feel the same, and I hope we all do. In the spring of 2017, it will see the completion of my own feed intake centre in southern Scotland. This will be the first privately owned feed intake centre in Europe. We are working to build a team of six collaborative farmers to supply 2,000 cows to use as test animals for this programme. We believe in technology. I've travelled the world thanks to Nuffield and I think the future is in improved beef genetics. And I'll leave you with this. The future's bright for beef. All we need is available just now in technology and science, in genetics, in the animals you can buy. My future here, my daughter, my future's beautiful. The future is in improved beef genetics. Thank you very much. Okay.